the last example that we're going to go over today is going to go on slide number eight of our technical drawing portfolio. And this is going to be our enlarged scale drawings. Now we typically do in large scale drawings when we have an object that is really tiny and we want to see all of the different details, maybe the different texture, but we want to be able to see all of the different pieces and parts. So when they were originally making the patents for Legos, if they had just made the drawings at full scale, it would have fit on a piece of paper, but it might have been really hard to see some of these details. So they took that and they made the drawing much larger, so the details were easier to see. Now for our enlarged scale drawings, we will also see a ratio similar to our reduced scale. But this time, we'll notice that the first number, which represents parts on paper, is larger than our parts in real life number. Pardon that little technical interruption. So this is a good tip as to whether we are going to be doing a reduced scale or an enlarged scale. If the first number in our ratio is bigger, that will mean an enlarged scale. If the second number in our ratio is bigger, it's going to mean a reduced scale. These would also, by the way, folks, be great things to add to the notes section of your portfolio. So for this Lego right here, and we are drawing it at an enlarged scale, we are going to make every real life part represented by two parts on paper. So we are going to make this twice as big, essentially. If we remember back our measurements from the first time, looking at our Lego, it is one and one quarter inches long. and five eighths of an inch wide. So knowing that we are going to represent these real life parts twice as large, we can double those numbers. So this becomes two and one half inches. And this becomes one and one fourth. So let's start drawing out our rectangle. So again, lining my zero line up with a line on my graph paper, measuring out in this case to my two and a half inches and drawing myself a nice line. one and one fourth, drawing out that nice line. So this drawing is an enlarged scale version of this Lego. Specifically, it is a two to one drawing, meaning the drawing is twice as large as the object is in real life. 